got in this run wave inflatable stand-up paddle board um, just want to show you what came in the box when you opened it the nice thing about it is they put this on top of got in this run wave inflatable stand-up paddle board um, just wanted to show you the way it was delivered to you. It comes in this box. When I cut it open here, the nice thing about it is it has this piece of cardboard right here. So that way when you're cutting it open, you don't cut the paddle board because when you get it open here, it's right here on top. So we have our paddles, we have our ankle attachment, we have our pump, we have our fin, and then a very, very nice heavy case for it. It's a backpack, heavy duty canvas. It has wheels on it. Go ahead and open up the bag here. So it's a very nice quality. Nice turquoise flower design. So I'm gonna get this all unwrapped. We're gonna take it down to the river and try it out. See how easy it is to inflate and how balanced it is. All right, now that I have everything unwrapped, I just wanted to go and show you a few things on here. It does come with a watertight container that you can attach to the front of the paddle board. It also has the paddle, which is very thick plastic, solid, well-made, and the pole is a very thick, solid aluminum. Um, so it's gonna be very sturdy, and you can also extend it out using the latch for whatever height you need. So one thing I recommend whenever you're packing this bag is to always put your paddle board on the bottom, away from the wheels, because I'm going to show you here in a second. Here's our handle. So you can pick it up. So I got everything packed in here. We'll go ahead and tip it up here. I can now go ahead and carry it off the wheels. All right, so I've got my runway paddleboard here. I'm gonna show you how to set up, but first of all, I wanted to show you here, and I didn't know this at first, but underneath here, we have straps. So you can use this as a backpack as well, making it easier to carry. So I'm gonna get it out of the bag, we're gonna set it up and show you how to do it, use it. All right, so I'm gonna unzip it, get it open. We'll get out the pump. We have the instructions, our aluminum paddle, our ankle strap, a watertight container, and then we'll get the paddle board. So when you first get it, it's wrapped up in nice plastic here. I'll go ahead and get it open. The back fins are covered with a really nice foam type of coverings that you can take off easily and then we'll put the fin on. My daughter really loved the coloring of this with the pink and the blues, so I'm going to get this all pumped up. So 
when you get the pump out, you have to hook the hose on, screw it on here. Then you have the other side that you're gonna put into your paddle board. It opens up here and you lock it on. So that way we can pump it up and get started. All right, it's taken me about 18 minutes to get it up to about 14 PSI. The last few PSIs were really hard to do. And you watch the PSI as you push down here. And once full, you remove the valve. No air comes out. We'll go ahead and put the valve back on. So once we're all done, we can hook up the ankle attachment. We'll flip it over. We can attach the main fin now, which just slides in here like this. And it's tight. So to put the paddle together, attach these in here, push it in. You can unlock this to adjust the height of the handle to take it apart. Just put it there and you're all done. All right, to let the air out, just open this up. Press the valve down, and the air will come out. If you twist it, then it keeps it down. All right, we'll get it all zipped up now. It's all ready to go for the next time.